Going on the road, going on the road, going on the road with Harley and Mona. Are we broke? In our bedroom, all we have um, for storage for mm, storage, yeah, clothes for clothes is this little dresser and the. Drawers are not very deep at all. And there is so much wasted back space in this closet because it um it curves out there. Um so there's so much wasted space in the back and because it curves um there's even more wasted space. So, we went to Ikea today, and we are going to put this in the back of the closet, um, and we also have a closet on each side here, too. So, there's plenty of closet space, there's not just a lot of drawer space. So... As Harley is putting this together, I'll try and do a little bit of filming. He doesn't really like me to do that, but I'm going to try anyway. So. And just like that, it's done. It fits very well in here. That will be a wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. I don't know what I was thinking about dark gray. I have no idea. Because it kind of seems gray hmm. in here and that fits perfect and we have room yep. on Thanks each side on for hanging stuff. Hmm. Thank you dear. Oh and you have blisters to show for it. Ooh, that's a nasty one. Hmm. All right so we got the uh, dresser in the closet here and it uh, fits perfectly. Harley put some brackets in the front and then a couple, couple in the back to keep it stable when we're traveling. So that's gonna make a huge difference in um, clothes. So, uh, we have a project that we're gonna work on. When we got this um, trailer, in the ones that we had looked at, um, they both they all had these little these pull-up shelves on the side here. Um, however, in the ones that we looked at, this this was even with that, and. Um, this wood is not finished. It's just like, it, it's not even sanded. So our project is to sand these and finish them and then to move this up to where the, where this is even here, which makes so much more sense. So that's one of my projects. I'm gonna finish these, Harley's gonna take them off and we'll sand them up and then I'll do some do some natural staining I like the the way they look um, so it's it's a thing on both sides here neither side is even there I don't get the whole idea of that so anyway, uh, you can watch the whole process. So uh, we'll get back to you. you hang on to that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, it's off. <clears throat> I wouldn't do both sides. Okay. So then these just have to be moved up. 
to right there. brackets taken off here and they have to be moved up exactly an inch so I hope that uh, that works anyway the boards are all sanded and now it's staining or um, not I'm not really gonna stain it it's just putting a finish on it so with the Danish oil Watco Danish oil that was recommended I've never used it um, and it's a stain seals and protects so uh, we'll see how that works <laughs> how nicely it fits right there beautiful okay now we have to hold this one up yeah and there they are level this one's a little bit warped I guess a little yeah. bit when we originally put the washer and dryer in here uh, we had it screwed to the floor. We didn't feel good about the floor being stable enough. And so Harley put it on this board right here, screwed it down to the floor, and then screwed the washer onto that. And so um, that seems to be a bit more stable so that's one change that we did from we have these bins here along the side they're very slim they open from the top and we're going to attach those he thought that uh, we'd be able to do it with this really heavy duty tape that he has but unfortunately it doesn't stick to plastic another thing we did um because this is a vented dryer and we didn't want to drill or make any, we didn't want to put holes in the walls for venting. We got this venting system here and it just filters the air and then we get the warm air in here. So that was another thing that we did and then it comes like that. 
And this works really well. I can't think of anything else right now that we've done to make things easier. I just need a haircut so bad. Anyway, catch you later. Harley says it's not going to fall over, so I'm trusting. It won't. Oh, he says it won't. It won't hit the ground. It's screwed with about 10 screws. So. Okay, right down there. Yeah. That is. It is. It is. That's what they do. We thought about bracing it to the back wall, but there's really nothing to brace it to. We thought about bracing it up to here, but... I don't know. That's how they're made, so anyway. I just wanted to show you some things that we've done in here to make it more homey and comfortable. Uh, just a few little modifications. Um, what I did in this window, this is the window that comes right out of the bathroom. And sometimes you get those times when you can't get the bathroom door closed fast enough and so i put a little bit of uh, uh textured film in this window here you can still see out the top but uh that was that was a good addition and then i have these little window poles that i made um this is paracord and these are beads that I bought a little cow theme going on there and so I put them on a paracord and then the ends of these MCD shades come out and you just slide that right in there and uh, it makes it so much easier to to for up and down pulling and then I added some greenery up in the top here um, and then at night, this little automatic light comes on and just gives it a nice soft glow. Uh, we put a liner on the table to avoid scratches and dents and that kind of thing. It's just a thin uh, vinyl cover. Um, let's see. So on our two entrance doors on this front one here, they don't come, they don't come with shades in them. And so we decided that we would get a replacement window for this front door. So this is just the whole replacement section here. Just replace that whole window. And then it has an up and down shade here that you need two hands to operate but that's a lot nicer you can have it you can put it in so that it goes up or it comes down you do need a special tool if you don't get the leopard window replacement window you do need a special tool that unhooks those fasteners behind the window and I think Harley actually ended up just cutting the window out and then we just pop this one in it was very easy and then in the back window here, we just, we got one that just has Velcro on it and it just folds up, folds up and down. My Velcro's all around the edge here, all around the edge, and then it folds up in quarters and it's all the way down and I believe that it's a little bit insulated too but that's been so nice for keeping the sun out when it's hot it hasn't been hot but that's that little thing um I think that's about it. Just those little additions make it more homey. So, um, that's it for right now. We'll catch you later. Going on the road with Harvey and Polka. Harvey.